Hi there, I'm Lexi Trimble, the Wellness Specialist at St. Francis Regional Medical Center. Um, today I'm going to be sharing a self-nourishing teaching, and this is on how to refresh the mind. This could be for when we feel like we're getting into slumps or for maybe when we're feeling less inspired or creative. So the first topic I have for you to think about is recording your wins. Um, this could look like setting a time aside to write down your wins. This should be personal and professional wins um, and setting a regular cadence at which you do so. Personally, I do this at the end of each month. Um, it could also be done on a weekly basis or even every other month. Um, this is a good list to look back at to see all the things you've accomplished when you're feeling the need for a little reminder of how great you are. And from a professional perspective, this is great as many of these items can be brought up during the interview process. So that is the first little tidbit that I have for you. And the second learning is a little bit longer. It's called Breaking the Script. So this concept has been taken from the book, The Power of Moments by Chip and Dan Heath. The book looks like this. And if you're interested in renting it out from me, I am more than happy um, to hand it over to you. It's one of my favorite books, honestly. It, I learned a lot from it. Um, so breaking the script defies one's expectations of how an experience will unfold. By doing this, there is the opportunity to create moments of elevation and boost sensory pleasures. So think about a script that could be broken in your life. What is something that is the same every day, every week, every month? Our lives are filled with scripts. There could be lots of fill in the blanks here, um, but three that I have just created or the book gave me actually was the script for how your family spends Sundays, the script for how your team's staff meetings go, or the script for a hotel check-in. Um, all of these things probably look the same almost every time you do them. So now think about some ways for how you can break scripts like these. An idea for the first one, how to break the script for how your family spends Sundays, is to have Sunday surprises. You could put a different family member in charge of planning certain Sundays throughout the year. You could spontaneously start going for a drive and doing um, whatever looks interesting to you or your family or whoever else you're with. So I'll just pause for a second and just allow you to think about how else this could be applied to your Sunday routine. And now let's think about how else this um, topic could be applied to your life. This can be personally or professionally. Um, things that are constantly the same that could really, um, you could really benefit from kind of changing up a little bit. So some ideas that came to my mind in thinking about this was changing up my morning routine. This pretty much looks the same every weekday. So I think a thing I thought about doing was maybe trying a new workout class once in a while and inviting a friend to come with. Another thing I thought I could break the script on was changing what I pack for lunch or make for dinner. Typically, my grocery shopping, my, my fiance's grocery shopping looks the same every week. <laughs> and so um, maybe sitting down and coming up with uh, recipes that we want to try for the week coming up and grocery shopping according to those could be a way that we flip that script. Um, gifting presents, since it was just Christmas, I guess this was on the forefront of my mind, but um, giving more maybe experience presents rather than just physical things could be a way that I flip the script of giving presents. And then another one that um, could be applicable to almost all of us could be meeting starts or even huddles. Um, how could these look different once in a while to um, flip the script? So by disrupting moments, we create more peaks in our life.
The most memorable periods of our lives are the times when we break the script. Personally, my favorite vacation I've ever had was with my fiance. Um, we went to the Oregon coast and had a car and had things to camp and backpack, but we had absolutely no plan. We knew we would drive down the Oregon coast. We didn't have places to stay, things that we wanted to see, restaurants we wanted to go to. We just drove and found places along the way. And to the day, to this day, that is my favorite vacation I've ever been on. An interesting statistic from the book was that novelty or freshness actually seems to slow down time. That is why we feel like time goes faster as we age, because typically we find ourselves in more of these mundane routines as we age. Something to think about with this teaching is how do you break the script consistently enough that it matters, but not so consistently that it's a new script or a new way of living or a new expectation moving forward? So this is where the importance of randomness comes in with breaking the script. Um, this is not to be every Friday I'm going to do a new workout class and invite a friend. It's going to be random days throughout the year um, to kind of have a new experience, but not have it be a new routine. So just kind of as a summary, the overall goal of this teaching is to reduce negative variance and increase positive variance in our lives. So reducing negative variance would look like getting kids to school on time, managing household chores, keeping sibling spats under control, showing up to work on time. But Something to just think about is, are we focusing too much energy on reducing those negative variants rather than increasing positive variants in our day-to-day -day lives? So all things to think about. Um, a summary, when we're feeling like we need a little refresh, we're feeling down, we're feeling like we need increased creativity or motivation or inspiration. These are two things that you can lean on um, to kind of bring yourself up and out of that rut. I hope you enjoyed this week's teachings. I will be back next week with some more. Um, please reach out if there are any specific topics that you would like to hear about. Thank you. Bye.